What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Carrie Hilson. Hey, what's happening, homie? This TIP, man. Yo, what's up? This Big Boy. Y'all know what time it is. Live from the West Coast. You already know you checking out Hard Knock TV. You heard? Yeah, what up, though? This is Common, and right now you checking out Hard Knock TV. You watching Hard Knock TV, you understand? Learn that you yach. Yeah, yeah, big up. This is BLU. I'm checking out Hard Knock TV. Chia. It's like a blank canvas. Carving my initials in the planet like I branded. Handpicked to live this life. We take for granted like a child with an upright base. We can't stand it. Smiling through the trouble we face. Trying to manage my way without pumping my brakes and staying stagnant. Cause I can sit on my ass or just imagine the madness and get on my path and paint the canvas. How was uh how's being signed to, to Warner change your approach to making music or has it? Um it hasn't actually it definitely hasn't like uh i've had tons of plans or or directions for my next like where i'm trying to where i plan on taking my career like different routes i can take planned out so um with warner is just trying to find the the right the perfect option and uh that's pretty much all we're doing now they're pretty much open to like my ideas my different experiments like I've been trying to get into like this electric hip-hop feel for like a while since like since we first finished the Johnson & Johnson record me and Mainframe just started doing shit like the song that shit disco dynamite we're stepping into that realm and um yeah man we started talking to Warner so now New York album pops up and that's that is that sound that I was like digging for for so long I, I like got everybody together, DBIC, uh, Flying Lotus, all the heads who actually just took that shit to another level production wise, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm stepping into that field of rap, you know what I mean? There's not too many MCs out there on touching, expounding on this production era, this production movement that's going on. Like, there's so many dope beats that got put out. Like, Knowledge from Philly put out a dope instrumental album. There's, like, dope instrumental albums floating around with crazy beats. I'm surprised MCs ain't just blazed all of that shit. You know what I mean? But, yeah, you know, it's just timing, man. Okay. Chris Let's go dynamite, shining like crystal. Where pistols pop like Crisco, but not from Frisco. No disrespect to North Calypso. I did have a yard massive VP on this though. Now I'm this rope, you and my biz kids. Stop trying to digit and let me get shit in simple. Pencils, raps, and instrumentals, and experience is kind of quintessential. Are you afraid of what Lupe was going through with Atlantic? Nah, just from my talks. My talks at the major, we seem like we're we're on the same page. Um, it's a lot of things going on with the with the majors at this time. A lot of like positions are being changed, um, but uh, for the most part, we're on the same page. So uh, I feel confident in where the record's going. But um, yeah, it's just uh, it's just that right timing. Once it all connects, the album is going through mixing stages right now. So. Shit, we'll see. We'll be we'll we'll be sitting on it in this summer. We'll be sitting on the New York album. You know what I mean? Uh, what's the meaning behind the title? New York. It's a it's a deep reference to me, man. It's like uh, it has many many different meanings, but mainly for me, I would just say it's it's my West Coast album. It's on some West Coast shit for me. It's a I say it's not a state. It's a state of mind. You know what I mean? No reference to New York, it's New York. This is us right here. It's New York. I'm all over here. All over here, yo. Working. New York state of mind, you know what I'm saying? That's me. <laughs> Straight out. So the album is pretty much done, if you say it's a mixing, it's... Uh, yeah, it's in the mixing stages. It's, it's done right now. We got the mixtape, we got the EPs, we got so much. We did so many songs for it, it's just like, we want it to be a triple album or some shit, but you know what I'm saying? We just like trying to craft the right, the right album to deliver. Um, can you leak uh, any possible features or production or what, what, what do people expect from it? Uh, yeah, we got Lotus on it, Sam I Am, Daedalus, Exile, Shafiq, Mad Lib, Knowledge. That shit is kind of crazy, dog. That shit is kind of, kind of crazy. You know what I mean? Did some work with Bilal, Jay Davey, Sarah. 
Edon. Some hip hop shit popping off. <laughs> For real, for real, for real. What about our guest MCs? Is it, is it mainly you? Edon is on there. Um, homie Donnell Smokes from like early, early Exile, Dirty Science record joints. Uh, the homie Double O, the homie Definite. Um, yeah, it's definitely some MCs on there. Nola Darling. It's dope. It's a dope. It's a dope. It's New York, you know what I'm saying? We went in. For people who, uh, who are expecting uh, Below the Heavens Part 2. Uh, Below the Heavens Part 2, I don't know who threw that bogus ass title out there. Y'all gonna downplay your boy like that. Like I was gonna name my shit Below the Heavens 2. Nah. We got the Memoirs album. I don't even know what it's called. That's just... We got like eight titles. I don't know. I, w I would give y'all a title, but y'all will run with that and shit. Probably see that shit online tomorrow so we got a new we have a blue and exile 2 album for you hold tight and that's yeah. coming after that yeah will most likely come afterwards for sure yeah that was something that was just more personal it wasn't like we we didn't even like work on that on planning on releasing it we just like we work you know what i'm saying on music you know what i mean so like we just got up and did an album you know, and uh, we just sat on it for a while. Then the Warner situation uh, unfolded, but there was already something I was doing with Warner. So that's New York. But yeah, we got shit. I got other albums in the cut too. Albums, plural, in the cut on some shit. Sit tight. Y'all gonna hear all of that shit. They say misery loves company. <laughs> But I don't need shit, so don't come to me And I don't eat dick, so don't come to me When you see me in a fucking beam I'm leaning tough as fiends with winter fever Your nose itching, hoes wishing he was a keeper Fucked up, girl, he was a keeper yep. Fuck the papers, he was the reefer Now he's meaner than meaner Was sweet, now he keeps his heart next to his Nina And you used to see him saving up his money From shows to get her a rose Turn it down, ridiculous What about uh, on the production side? People don't uh, necessarily know you so much. Oh yeah, no, nah, I, I spent I spent like a year on the production side. I'm kind of chilling on that. Just uh, just had to pick up the pen again, man. Just start like, I just had a, a hunger to get back on the raps. I don't know what it was, but for a while I just chilled. It was good to get into like producing, sit with my records and shit. Take some time off from just eating up the booth, but you know you start missing it and shit. It's like wing stop. You know, you can't eat Wingstop all year. But uh, if you stop like two months before summertime, you'd be straight. You'll have a good Wingstop summer. Yeah. <laughs> I should get a Wingstop sponsor. Man, right? I'm taking Hook it straight up. to them afterwards. <laughs> Hook it up. For the people who are like, blue is kind of a myth. Like, why does blue put out more music? What has he been doing for the last three years? What, 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 are, you, what are you telling them? I, I feel nah. like when I read the blocks, there's a lot of that going on. Like, man, I yeah. want more blue stuff. I think there was like, it was just, a, it was like the, the internet, when I came out there, the, the internet had took a hold of like the rap game, and like got a stronghold on the rap game. And uh, since then, the social networks just took over, but it became so many, it was hard to track down what's what. So, um, People thought I was quiet, but really I released four records. I released seven records in the last three years. You know what I'm saying? Below the Heavens 2007, 2008 Crash the Peace Talks reissue, 2009 Johnson and Johnson, um, 2009 Her Favorite Color, uh, the Open Instrumental Album, the Blue and Scene, my homeboy from Brooklyn. Um, the one, Day Late and Dollar Short album, and uh, what's the, oh, and the Godly Barnes free release. It's a soundtrack, really, low key. But yeah, <laughs> bunch of shit, so you know what I mean? It's like certain people got certain records. Some of them were like given away on Tumblr, some were given away on Twitter, MySpace, all kind of shit. So it was like no central location. I just wanted the music out there, you know what I mean? And the people who are looking for it is the people who got it. Stay 
right tune, this is the game of life, and these are the cards I've been dealt. Give you the real deal, live footage, so you can feel for yourself. It's uncut and raw, get over border since before the new world was in order. Embedded in places you dreaded and never thought of the corners, the streets and projects, the one bedroom apartments, the hood. I'm the voice for all of y'all misunderstood. It's because I'm hip hop, maybe I was born from the struggle. Hustle and hover above the earth, observe the concrete jungle, and expose all lies. For the block, it's all lies. Revolution of the mind. It will be, 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 it will be,